The first time that I heard the words downward dog, I thought it was a sex position. The first time I found myself in downward dog, I felt like I was in a sex position. Little did I know that that kinky yoga pose would drastically change my life forever. See, when I was in high school, I thought I was a cool kid. I grew out my hair, I had my, my favorite band sweater, and I also wore my skinny jeans, which at the time, I thought I was unique. But it turns out, I was just like everybody around me. I was in a band, and I was just dressed like they were. I was following the trends, and I realized that I didn't know who the heck I was. So I decided that I needed to go looking for myself. The funny thing is that I didn't know where to start. So I began with small things like trying pieces of pizza with all the ingredients on it instead of just cheese. I, I tried cold showers. I tried to hang out with new friends that I hadn't seen in a long time. None of it was really working. I still didn't know who I was. And then I got an unexpected call at an unexpected time in my life. And it was my, my friend inviting me to a yoga class, which I laughed, and you have to realize, at this time in my life, I was a self-proclaimed manly man. Not to go against any of the feminism things we just talked about, but to me, I was someone who chopped wood, ate meat, and watched football back in the day. So yoga seemed like not a very good choice. I decided to say yes. So fast forward, and it's before the yoga class, and I did what anyone that's feeling emotionally nervous would do. I gorged on food. I ate a bunch of pizza. I ate a bunch of dark chocolate-covered almonds, which would prove to be a very bad idea later. I get to the yoga studio, and all I see are a bunch of people that look like this to me. The locker room looks like a zen garden. And I walk into the studio, and it's covered with candles, and there's lavender essence oil floating through the air. And I look around, and the teacher says, get into child's pose. I don't know what the heck child's pose is, and I see a bunch of people getting down on the ground, planting their face into the floor. I felt super uncomfortable, and I've never felt so out of place in my life. Fast forward to this yoga session, and I see people upside down doing handstands. But it was at this moment that I started to realize something. Yoga was freaking great. I was, it was like I was in this hot, soaking bathtub of warm water. I was stretched out, my muscles were relaxed, and I was feeling like I've never felt before. It was fantastic. At one point, I remember I was doing a pose where my hand was in the air, and I looked at my hand, and the only thought in my head was there's my hand. I, I waited my whole life for this moment. I always wished that my brain would turn off, and here it was. This was my chance. But at the same time, my stomach started grumbling. And then it started rumbling, and it started vibrating, and, and so I, I rubbed my belly, and I tried to cool myself down, but the more I rubbed, the more it rumbled. And then the teacher had us get it back into downward dog, which I showed you earlier, right? We were in downward dog, and my stomach just going wild. I don't know what to do. The teacher's making very clear that this is not a place to relieve yourself. And then the worst thing that I've ever had happen to me happened. I ripped the loudest fart that I have ever had in my entire life. <laughs> right there in the middle of Downward Dog in the yoga studio. It was like a spotlight turned on to me, and it was like everyone in the room was watching me. At one point, the yoga teacher even jokingly tried to distract everybody by saying, oh, it's just wind-blowing pose, that's okay. <laughs> but then, something beautiful happened. Nothing happened. And it was amazing. I was so scared. I was so seeking approval, like Barbara talked about earlier. And I realized that I don't need approval, right? We're humans on a planet full of humans. We don't need anybody to tell us that we're amazing. And so I realized that I didn't need to go find myself. I didn't need to go looking. In fact, we're not meant to be found. We are works in progress. Everything that we are is a culmination of everything that we do. And I believe that it's when we step out of our comfort zone, we edge into the places of discomfort and, and unfamiliar spaces that we really find where the magic happens. So when I think back to this idea of downward dog and how I, I really wish it was a sex position, even though it's not, it turned out to be something even better for me. 
it wasn't, it wasn't just a place for me to, to stretch my body or anything like that. For me, it was where my magic happened. Thank you. Yeah.